So this is our version of the game of beanbag buckets. Now I don't have the actual game to show you, but if you look in the bottom corner of the screen, you can see what the game looks like. So it's a bunch of buckets on a pole. Now, all of the buckets on that pole are worth a different amount of points. The top bucket being the highest amount of points and the lower buckets being lower amount of points. Uh, in the game, you can play with one player, two player, three, four players, however many you want. And the object is, is to toss bean bags and try and get them to land in the buckets and then add up the score and uh, you play that way. Now, we have made our own version of bean bag buckets. And what we did here is I took five buckets. Doesn't matter what size the buckets are, if they're even, if they're not, one's bigger than the other, it doesn't matter, it's, it's for fun. And then I awarded them a certain amount of points. The bucket closest to where you're tossing from, so I'm tossing from over there, would be one point. Then it's two, then three, then four, and then the furthest one away would be five points. Now I also put rocks in the bottom of the bucket so that when I do toss, they don't tip over. So you might wanna put something down to weigh it. So then I have a starting line. I'm gonna show you how to play by yourself and then if you were playing with a partner. So if you wanna play by yourself, you need something to toss. You can use sock balls, you can use bean bags, or you can use any toys that you have that uh, you're able to toss. It doesn't really matter as long as they can land in the bucket. So what you're going to do is if I'm playing against myself, I'll toss all four of my bean bags and then I'll add up the points at the end. So I'll start at my starting line, however far away from the buckets you want to go. Underhand toss because it lands in the bucket much better. Don't throw it. If it's much harder to get it to go inside of the bucket. Okay. I got two bean bags in the three point bucket, and I got one bean bag in the two point bucket, so I got eight points that round. Take your bean bags, bring them back. So you can keep score any way you choose. You might want to say, I'm trying to get to 21. You might say, I'm trying to beat myself from the last round. So if I just scored eight points, I want to try and get higher than eight on this round. Or you can say, I'm going to do four rounds. So if I got eight the first round, another number, so on, and see if we can do better in another set of four rounds. So I might do four rounds, then four rounds, four rounds and try and beat your score that way. You can set it up how you like. Now, if you play with a partner, you'll need four and somebody else will need four. You'll take turns tossing and then at the end, you'll add up your points. And you can do the same thing. We'll try and see if we can do better the next round or first person to let's say 21 points. In a lot of these backyard games, 21 is the magic number and uh, we see who can first get to 21. And that is how we are going to play our version of beanbag buckets. Enjoy.